You are listening to the 8% Nation podcast, created to help you become a top producer in the insurance industry. Enjoy the show. All right, Cody, that was an awesome interview with Eric. All right, so yes, it was. Um, what I want to do is just give you kick, get, get, give the people a quick little preview of what they're about to see with this interview that we did with Eric DeJohn. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. You want to watch every second, especially later in the interview. It get, can, continues to build and get better. You got a dude here that's making 400 grand a year selling life insurance. He's on pace to do that, right? 27. 27 years old, 17K in the last two weeks. Like I'm telling you, listen, pay attention, take some notes. This is a meaty, freaking good episode that we just finished recording freaking gold, man. I'm excited yep. for you guys to watch it. Yeah. And this 8% Nation podcast is built to help you guys as insurance producers get to the 8%, right? So give us a quick little rundown real quick, Cody, on what's next week. Dude, it's next week as we're recording this, right? But once yeah. we release it, it's like a couple days, right? So literally 8% Nation Insurance Wealth Conference, whether you're hearing it now immediately once it drops or whether you're hearing it later, if when you get a chance to come, because you will, to 8% Nation you do not want to miss it. It is the way to bring power players to our industry, have the best networking event on planet Earth for insurance, and deliver sales and marketing freaking gold yep. to take you watching right now and listening right now to the next level. All right, it's not too late to get your ticket. We'd love to see you and meet you in person. Um, if you're watching this later, then we'll see you next year. That's right. All right, enjoy the podcast. Hey guys, welcome to the second podcast, the 8% podcast, where we're dedicated to helping you as an insurance agent get to the 8%. Cody, what does that even mean, really? 92% fell in the first three years. You want to be a part of the 8%, the 8% make money, the 8% succeed, the 8% create a life that they can be obsessed about, right? Absolutely. So what we did today is we have a special guest. We have Eric DeJohn. We're going to introduce him um, to, the, to you guys and kind of, he is part of the 8% now. Um, he's going to kind of tell his story. Um, Eric, welcome. Welcome to the podcast, my friend. Thank you so much. The men, the myth, the legends, Landon McCarter and Cody Askins. Thank you so much for having me today. It's a, it's a true honor to be on your guys' podcast and talk to you a little bit today. Cool, man. Well, hey, um, the, uh, the thing we want to do is kind of highlight you as an individual producer. So what I want to first do is just can you kind of tell everybody about, you know, your particular insurance focus and a little bit about your story real quick, if you don't mind? Yeah, absolutely. So my primary primary uh, focus is on final expense and life insurance, and I'm also moving into Medicare as well. Um, I'm originally from New York. I've been in the insurance industry for a little over a year and a half now, um, and so this is you know the most exciting time uh, of my business. It's it's truly exploding, um, and, and working with you know yourself and, and Cody has truly um, been a been a huge boost to my business and really helped me go north. So um, it's been great. Right on. Cody, do you remember your first conversation with Eric? Do you remember what that was like? Yeah, I do, man. He was uh, he was trying to figure it out. Good dude. You could tell he was hungry, driven, right? He, his heart was in the right place. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was buying, you know, all kind of stuff to figure it out, like really investing in his business. He was like, I was impressed, dude, that you were, you were like putting in, you know, funds and money uh, to really – figure this thing out before you even had it like totally dialed in, you know, which is super impressive because most agents aren't that way at all. Yeah. What were some of the things, Eric, that you like invested in and tried that you didn't really necessarily feel like was a good investment? And what are some of the things that you were like, oh my gosh, that's the best dollar I ever spent? Like walk me through some of that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, really my aha moment to start with was, you know, the last company I was with, uh, I just noticed that you know, they were producing leads off all, all off social media. And so for me, um, I met some people in the industry and they introduced me to what really was possible and how the industry actually worked uh, from a, you know, from a compensation standpoint and how, you know, you can really um, to market yourself to, to generate leads uh, more efficiently. And so, you know, from there, um, I, I kind of went independent as a broker and that has really been huge for me because um, I haven't had to leave any money on the table. But, um, you know, um, being able to invest in, uh, in myself primarily and, you know, uh, growing every single day, uh, I've spent a lot of time uh, figuring out who are the, who, who are, is really dominating this industry. And I found a lot of that on YouTube. I found some really great leaders. Um, that's, that's how I found Cody and um, started reaching out to him and just asking 
uh, questions. R really, um, you know, I I've been just trying to figure out how to uh, how how to grow my business. You know, the quickest way possible to do it. Um, work ethic for me was never an issue. It was just you know getting the right information. I think that's that's really uh, been, been the main issue was finding someone who was going to be 100% honest and transparent with me. Unfortunately, um, it's, you know, most people won't, won't be, uh, and I'm not too sure why. Um, but, you know, you guys have this, this mentality where, you know, don't compete, just dominate. And, um, and I, I kind of have that, that's share those same values. And, um, so for me, I really, I, I, I knew that, you know, I needed to, in order to, to scale this, how I wanted to, I was going to have to generate my own leads, um, and, and, you know, be able to, to pass that along to agents that I was going to bring on. And so, you know, um, you know, most people I, I found in this industry and just in business in general, you know, most of the time they just, um, they just give you advice based on what's mainly going to help them. Whereas once mm. I found you guys, it, it was truly like a dream come true. Cause it's really all I've been looking for since I've been in business and especially in the insurance industry, cool. it was just to find someone who would help me uh, for the best interest of me. And um, you, you guys have been everything. And then some, um, you know, so being, being able to invest in, um, in, in learning how to, how to generate leads myself, was is probably the um, you know the the biggest thing for me uh, so far. So right on, man. Well, that's great. So Cody, you you met him, and then he came to our first retreat, right? Second, second retreat in Tampa, yep. right? It was so, a good one. It was a good one too, man. Fifteen thousand square foot mega mansion. That was fun. And you kind of had to convince him to get there, if I remember right. I, I did have to convince you to come. Yeah, you weren't going to come at first. I wasn't. I, I really wasn't. Um, and here's why, too. I actually, um, you know, I'd invested in there's, you know, a bunch of courses out there that show you how to how to generate your own leads. And, you know, they you see them on Facebook every single day. There's tons of people doing it, which is awesome. Right. They show you how to do that. And I invested into that. Um, and, and, you know, it, it was a good course, but kind of um if you don't have a good sense of what you're doing already it, it can really confuse you because they just load you up with all this information by the end of it you're just like well, okay wh what happened and where do i start <laughs> right so um when i you know you know when I, I i i reached out to cody again and he, he said something about how he was coming to tampa i was like no way dude i'm in tampa like i need to meet you you're a legend and you tell me <laughs> so much more than you even know and he was like look come to this retreat. I promise you, you're going to have, you're going to take away a million times more value than any other thing that you've done so far and in investing in, in, in yourself and in your business. And I was like, all right, whatever, man, like sounds kind of too good to be true, but here goes. Right. I mean, I mean, I'm like, you gotta, gotta take nuggets from, from the best out there. And in my mind, you know, Cody has, has helped me more than anybody else in this industry just from afar, from his YouTube videos, even. So I was like, okay, well, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to gain a, a connection who is literally a, a legend and uh, somebody that a lot of people lo uh, look up to in this industry. So, you know, I made the jump. I said, you know, let's go see what this is all about. I got to spend four days in the coolest, biggest house I've ever been in 15,000 square feet. Unbelievable. That was so fun. Right in Tampa, yeah. right in my backyard. I live in Tampa. So I was like, I got, I got, I got to go. Like you guys are coming in. I got to spend four days and I left there in awe. Um, you know, I, I truly, what you, it was literally, I remember, um, you know, being in there, just thinking to myself the whole time, like these guys are really giving away this much information, huh? Like I was like, this is just like absurd that they're this honest, this cool and this awesome about just helping people. You know, and that's really what I, um, I, I, you know, I took away a tons of nuggets from being able to spend some time with you guys. Um, you know, and a lot of it was just that you guys do stuff so much different. Um, you know, I know a lot of people who are extremely successful, um, but, you know, you for. Help me learn, like, OK, look. 
you know, people like this, this is how they act. I was taking, I, I was ingraining literally everything, your demeanor and how you explain everything and, you know, your personalities and how just nice and awesome. Cool, man. Were. Yeah. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, no. Hey, let me pause you for a second and ask you, Cody. So we, we get that a lot. Well, first off, dude, those are super that kind words. Unbelievable. Like, yeah, we appreciate that. We really do. And our, Land, Landon may not have teared up, but dude, but I was about to, man. We, 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 we appreciate those, those kind words. You know, we really do try to help people succeed. And Zig Ziglar, you know, he always says, you help enough people succeed, you'll, yeah. you'll get what you want, you know? Um, but one of the things I want to touch on was a point that Eric made that I'd like for you to talk a little bit about, Cody. Mm -hmm. We get all the time, we actually heard somebody that's supposed to be this business guru that was like, mm -hmm. Cody, you're, you're giving away the cow, not the milk, or, or you're, you're giving away too much. And, you know, why don't you explain to me your mindset of why you are such an open, open book with your coaching and your training and all that? Why is that? Yeah, I mean, when we, we, we do YouTube videos, or for instance, we were traveling around doing live trainings with about, about 14 or 15, I think. And we did one in Tampa, obviously. That's where um, Eric was there the night before the retreat. We do the retreats. Like, we're doing some things to really help agents. And, and I did have a guy come up to me that's a pretty prominent, you know, dude. And he's like, dude, you're, you're giving away. I've had this happen a lot, actually, yep. over the years. From our YouTube videos to ads to lead gen to, you know, sales training to appointments, all that. But it happened again in person. This was the, probably the first time it's ever happened in person. And the guy's like, dude, you're, you're giving away... Like, as a trainer, as a coach, you're supposed to give away the milk. He's like, you're giving away the entire cow. And you probably want to rethink that because you're not going to have anything else, you know, you're not going to have anything else to sell them later, you know? And I'm like, I've just learned that, from even some people I follow, you know, that if you just do, and, and my dad's like the most honest, ethical, in, you know, high integrity person in the world, and... Just growing up with him, you know, it's like if you just do right by people, you really care, you wear your heart on your sleeve, and you like do what's best for them, like actually share stuff with Eric that's going to help Eric, uh, then more people will be attracted to you, more people will want to learn from you, and they're going to be thinking naturally in their mind, holy crap, he's given this away for free. Imagine. Yeah, what else does he know? Yeah. You know, what, you know, what's under and the surface. That's, and that's the modern way yeah, of educating. Yeah, like, yeah, we put out yeah, so much yeah. on YouTube. People tell us all the time, you're putting out too much, you know? That's how, you, you say it all the time. You say it at the retreats, everything else. People work with people who educate them. Yep. We're educating. Yeah, I was going to get into that next. You know, from a marketing perspective, you know, you're going to get the information, Eric. You're going to find the information, whether we give it to you or, or not. You're going to go online. You're going to watch, watch videos. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. So why don't we be the ones that educate you and just go ahead of you on that and say, you know what, you know, we spend $700,000 a month on Facebook. We've learned a few things along the way. Mm -hmm. So here's kind of what you're going to need to look into. And we're not trying to hit home runs on Eric to John. We're just trying to, you know, work with people that we like working with and we can work together and create a win-win. And then he has a successful, you know, sales career and we have a successful business. And we help Eric get what he wants and it's all a win-win, you know, and we feel like, by by being honest and communicating, you're going to get the information anyways. So as a content leader and as a content sort of, you know, uh, I would say innovator, we want, there's always the next thing. So even if what we're talking about now isn't going to be what we're going to be talking about in three months, so I'm not worried about giving away the cow because we're going to have a whole new cow next month. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It changes yeah. so quick in this industry. All right. So Eric, back to you, buddy. So, you know, as we're wrapping up the uh, the retreat sort of conversation, you know, what was the, j j just one, just really quickly, you know, what were the really key takeaways that you, that you left with that retreat really quickly, like at a high, high level, like don't spend a ton of time, but just what were the main points that you left that you felt like it was life changer? Because I talked to one of your mentors and he said, Eric told me that that was the life changing event of his, of his career. What was it specifically? Hmm. Uh, I mean, I just, I have a different uh, level of thinking now and really, um, have a, a, a much better vision on how to actually achieve my goals. And actually when I left there, my goals that I wrote down are about five X from what they were before I met you there guys. You um, so basically, you know, think big in awesome. creativity. Like I notice everything you guys do. It's like, they're just so, they're just like creative geniuses. It's like, well, how can I thought of that? You know, every time you say something. So just being really creative, thinking outside the box, doing what others aren't doing and just thinking extremely big and knowing how to get there. Right on. So, okay. So you left that retreat. Appreciate you saying that again, man. I've, we're mm. blushing up here. Um, you know, the, the, the thing that I'd like to kind of get into next is, okay, great. 
You know, I used to go to church camps as a kid. Did you? Yep. It was great. You go to church camp, but then you get back to the real world and you're like, oh crap, like I'm not like w- around all my friends and I'm on that high and I'm coming down a little bit. But then it comes down to produce, right? So now you got to, okay, we had a great retreat. Now I got to go produce, right? So help me understand a little bit about that first sort of couple days or weeks. You know, one of the things that you did is you, you, you partnered with us on a marketing perspective. So we're the ones that are helping you you know, generate your leads and you're, you're sort of paying at cost leads with the marketing service that we have, but we're kind of working on your behalf to help you generate those leads, et cetera. Uh, we're not going to get into that today, but that's one of the things that changed is, is we basically took control or helping you sort of guide you in the right direction of creating those leads. So apart from switching sort of how you did the, the leads and the marketing, what was, you know, tell me about that first week back, like on the streets, what, what did that look like? First week back was just a complete 180 from anything I've done in this in this business. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in front of these people um, who are, you know, they're just qualified buyers. And it's just it says a lot about your marketing um, because I've, you know, I've I've tried a, a bunch of other vendors and, you know, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I do because I saw it firsthand at the retreat, which is amazing. Um, but you know, that really got me in front of the right people. And on top of that, it, it was, you know, not only was I getting in front of the right people, but I was using, uh, Cody sales system verbatim to a T the presentation is literally unbelievable. I had so much value that, um, that, that alone, um, I think just really took my business to the next level was just, you know, uh, just dupl- duplicating exactly what he does. Um, and really implementing everything from from my energy and tonality, which was which is huge. Um, so I think just his system and, and just the the leads that were coming in were just unbelievable, getting me in front of some really good people. Um, and from there, you know, I, I just went in and you know, confidence was through the roof, especially after uh, learning from from Cody. And uh, and I, th- I think you know, from there, it just kind of took off. Hey, let's get in a little bit. I want to get into the nitty gritty a little bit more. So, uh, you know, what specifically, g- give me some some points on, it's one thing to say Cody's presentation was great and it changed my life, but what specifically, give me a couple of points that you feel like you said a 180. What what are a couple things that like, would you say is the actual 180? Like, w- what is it? The 180 is just, um, you know, g- uh, well, one, you know, getting in front of the right people. And then two, just following the system that is put in place. Um, you know, I mean, the, the presentation from um, from steps one through four uh, is just literally like you figured it out to a T that it's, you know, I, I, it's just proven that people are going to buy off that. And, and particularly in the five, um, the, the, when you're, when you're providing the value, you know, the, the five benefits that come there with these types of policies that we sell, Good. uh, you Good. know, by the end of that, people are just like, wow, you know, um, cause you just, you may, you make it seem like it's the best thing since sliced bread <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, just, just, the, I mean, seriously, like people are in, you know, because I've used other people's scripts, people who, you know, they say that they wrote in 400, $500,000 in premium a year. Uh, those are the scripts that I used before and those were, those were good, but these are like unbelievable, like next level people. I, I haven't even had anybody really have give me any objections um, because it's that good. That's you know? awesome. So That's awesome. just literally being able to ingrain it from a whole from step one to step four and deliver it with the same energy and tonality is, you know, has been everything for me. And my closing rate has skyrocketed. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm closing basically everybody I'm sitting in front of. Well, let's talk about that for a second. Uh, why don't you get into some numbers? So I think with your marketing we're doing, is it about 35 leads a week? Is that what we're doing? I can't remember exactly. Yeah. 35 to 40 leads is what we generated per week. Okay. So, And that was with a $1,500 a month budget, right? What, what was that? Was that with a $1,500 a month budget, correct? For now, yep, yep, okay. fifteen hundred a month, and then um, I'm, I'm really gonna start scaling that uh, to you know point where I'm getting sixty to eighty a week. That's that's in the works. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, even with just thirty-five to forty leads a week, uh, first week out, I wrote ninety-eight hundred in premium. 
and then uh oh my gosh dude that's so much awesome. money in my life um and then uh this past week i i went out and i wrote uh 7660 so that dude. was huge saturday i wrote over five thousand dollars and you're just i mean the people and not only you know i'm getting in front of some really good people but uh, i promise that you know these i i saw the similar types of people um some of some of the prospects with the with the previous uh systems that i was following and i'll tell you what i i wouldn't have been able to close them at a, at a higher premium than i am now like my average premium was 91 dollars a month and my average <laughs> appointment was or my average um my average lead was 237 dollars uh, so i mean um, you know, in, in the, just the last two weeks, I've wrote $17,660 a premium. And the, the five months before that I was with, I wasn't a broker. I was with just one company. So I was only able to write through, through one company. And I, I made a uh, little over a little North of 18,000. Over how many months? Uh, five months, but I was also working a hunt like a hundred hours a week. So I did the math. It was about 2000, 2000 hours. So uh, it was literally like a 15 X did all those numbers. So that's incredible. <laughs> what do you think about that? Cody? Let's, let's, Dude. let's get some thoughts, buddy. Well, he's given me a lot of props. Okay. But you can't just be on secure agent marketing's lead plan. Just involve my sales system. But you got to have like some work ethic and some talent and some skill and you got to slowly get better. And this dude works like a freak. Yeah. His talent is through the roof. Yeah. Like raw talent like I've never seen. Yeah. And from a skill level, he's always wanting to learn. So like you, you even brought up uh, at one point we were talking before you brought up even even like when you do get objections, it's just like a different deal now. Um. Like the psychology of when someone says, dude, I don't want to buy life insurance, you know, or I'm not interested. Like what, talk us through that because I know that your, your own thought process of when you get objections had to have changed by the, what you're saying today. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Th thank you so much for saying that about me, by the way, that's, that means a lot. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, my, my thought process, uh, has just, I've literally ingrained your, your mindset is just like. Uh, towards uh, objections is just on a whole nother level from anybody I've ever learned from. And it's, I've really just taken it and I've watched it over and over and over again and watched it based off of exactly how you say it. And then, but, but it's just, it's just the, my, having the mindset of no is not an answer. And, you know, by following that agree, answer, ask when you, when, you know, your rebuttal works like magic. Perfect. Thanks so. Thank you so much for saying that. Right. It, it makes them think. Oh, like well, this guy agrees with me. You know. But you know, s since you know you requested this information, it's just my job to drop it off. You know, just make it seem like put it off somebody else, and then ask the question and just keep going through that. Or whether it's in the presentation, but just having that mindset. Like, look, a lot of people feel the same exact way that you do. Um, but you know, this is this is my job. And, um, and this is, this is the, the mission, like obviously without, the, without them knowing, but this is exactly what I need to do. And the, the, my mindset the whole time is, okay, it's going to be a yes. It's going to be a yes. It's going to, if you're just extremely, I've just been like relentlessly persistent with that and the reactions from people, uh, I've just been saying it like without even thinking it, uh, you know, it just comes off the, off the top, like right away now. And it, it just works like magic. Um, it's, you know, something that if somebody tells me, no, I get more excited. I'm like, okay, great. Perfect. Thank, thanks for letting me know. Um, you know, and then just, and just going, going back at it. That's so great. And so great. that has been, that has been a huge game changer. It's the same thing as, you know, on, on the phone. I, I thought I was, you know, a phone phenom. I, I've always been really good on the phones. You know, I've been, you know, calling uh, on the phones for a while now um, in, in different types of, of sales. So um, the phones was always, was always a huge, um, it was always a huge upside for me. And so, but now that I've 
I've been able to take some nuggets off of you and really your attitude and your mentality while making calls or just, you know, the, uh, you know, coming back against the objections has been a, has been a game changer. Right on. And so just to recap, I, first off, once again, like I said, we keep making each other blush, right? Um, but you know, okay. So we got lead program. We're doing marketing, getting 35 leads a week. Um, how many meetings are you turning those leads into? How many, what am I turning? How many meetings are you turning those leads? Yeah. Yeah. Like set, sit, sell kind of thing off of those. Oh, set, sit, sell. Yeah. I would say I've been, um, you know, my, my phone script, I've been setting anywhere from 65 to 70%. And then, um, I'm sitting about half of those, but I'm, I'm, I've been closing, um, I've been closing above 80% close rate. Right. Wow. Um, well, and, and and literally in the beginning, what I did was, you know, it took me some time to really get your, your presentation down. I remember like the first time the one or I think the first day I, I got two objections and it was like, I need to think about it, which I, I got this objection all the time with these other presentations I was using. And I just came back at them with a rebuttal that you use, which is gold <laughs> and it worked. Um, but then ever since I, I, you know, I'm riding around the car, I'm just listening to that constantly and seeing how I can tweak it a little bit and make it more of mine. And ever since I, I, I legit haven't, since that one day, I, I haven't gotten one objection. They're just like, yeah, go with that one. Right on, right on. So, okay. So you're mm-hmm. closing, you know, essentially you said 80% and that turned into over the last two weeks, $17,000 of commission. Yep. That's incredible. And so, you know, okay, so that's exciting. Obviously that's changed your life. You know, we, you know, that's a whole nother, a whole nother ball game for you. Um, we we're so excited to be able to be a small part of that success. But I remember whenever I, I was talking to Cody, you know, whenever we were doing our retreat and after we had sort of, you know, done the retreat, but before we had kind of heard any feedback necessarily, I was like, you know, Eric, you know, cause just a little bit about yourself, right? Why don't you give us a little bit of a background? Cause I'll, I'll prop you up a little bit. So you're a Division One lacrosse player. How old are you, and where do you live? And just let's get get a little bit of your background real quick. I don't think we've actually heard that yet. Absolutely, yeah. So I'm originally from Syracuse, New York, and um, I currently live in Tampa, Florida. I'm tw- I just turned 27 this year, and um, yeah, I have a background in um, just being really competitive in, in the sport of lacrosse. Um, you know, I I saw. I saw Syracuse University play from a very young age, and I made a decision that I, I, w- I was going to play lacrosse there at the age of eight years old. Uh, and, you know, just and because they were, they were the prominent uh, program out there. They were winning national championships. They had all the best players in the, in the country. And, you know, I just worked at my craft harder than anybody else. Um, you know, I, wasn't, I wasn't the most naturally uh, gifted or, or talented athlete, but I got there through – um, a relentless work ethic. And, um, th- that's all, I, that's all I was focused on. So, um, you know, that from a young age, I think has really, I've really been able to take that and transfer that over in- into business. And, um, you know, it's, it's really helped me, especially with being extremely self-disciplined and, and just consistent. Mm. Yeah. Well, I remember um, talking to Cody, you know, and I remember just saying, dude, Eric is a monster. And I think that right that, now. That doesn't know it yet. Yeah. I, I mean, I think he knows he is, but I don't think he's actually like, you know, seen the fruits of his labor yeah. like he knows he wants to and will. And I remember just having this visual in my head of like, all Eric like needed was like someone to grab him by the shoulders a little bit and be like, okay, go that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is North, you know? And then once he kind of locked on to that, I mean, he just freaking sprinted, obviously. So, you know, you're 27 years old, realistically and conservatively, how much money do you think you're going to make in the next 12 months? In the next 12 months, uh, my goal is to is to make over $400,000. So I know that I can do that. Um, I just got to write over $8,000. So- hey, Eric, Eric. Not to, not to interrupt you, bro, but you're still thinking too small. Seven figure inner, earner, baby. You know what? No, though, honestly, uh, you know you're, yeah. you're you're building a team. You're building a team too. I think you're uh, twelve months, six hundred k. 
Six hundred K. Yeah, well, I, I like that a lot more. I like that a lot more. I know. <laughs> I, I was gonna actually say. So with, the, I mean, with the system, I'm only getting about thirty-five to forty leads a week, and I've already wrote over that. You know, to to keep me over that four hundred thousand in the next twelve months. So I know that once I scale up to, and I've talked to Leonard about this, getting you know a lot more, sixty to eighty even a week. Um, you know, I, I know for a fact that that's I'm gonna blow it out of the water. Um, yeah. So yeah, we'll say six hundred. There it is. Boom. Well, and, and, you know, so, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of 20, you know, one of the things I love about the insurance industry is that, you know, the perception sometimes is that it's like a bunch of old, it's an old crowd, you know, average age 59 and a half. Yeah. And there's a new generation of insurance agents that are looking at this as like, this is a business and this is my product. And there's a ton of opportunity, oh my gosh, in this industry that I never even understood until I was only in it. So, you know, you, you know, let's just say you're shooting for 600K. Let's just say you fall short. Hopefully you don't, but you end up at $400,000 as a 27-year-old, you know, dude, right? So what advice would you have to the 24-year-old guy, 23-year-old guy, you know, gal that's just getting ready to get in this industry and is like wants to kind of be on the trajectory you're on? What advice do you have for them that isn't something we've already covered on this podcast? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, first things first is you, you really got to find someone that you can trust and, and learn and grow from. Um, it, it took me about five people, well, a lot more than that. But in the, in, you know, in the, as an independent broker, it took me about five people who are all, you know, very successful in, in their own right. Um, much respect to them. But, it, you know, to really get to, 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 to find guys who are as successful as you, it took me a lot to go through this. So really ask questions, ask as many questions as possible to really figure out, you know, what you need to know, because that's essential. But, you know, uh, a few things that come to mind that require literally no talent and and just, uh, just having a vision is you got to be really self-disciplined because no one's going to, you know, wake you up and and tell you, you know, you, where are you? What are you doing? Why aren't you here? Why aren't you working? You got to have the self-discipline to wake up every single morning and, you know, get after it, go work out and and get the blood flowing. I know it's all about energy, right, Cody? So right, man. Got to get your energy flowing. Um, Get a workout in and, and, you know, have your day set up where where you have, you know, a set schedule, you're running your appointments and you got to be, you know, you got to be really self-disciplined and you got to be consistent, never settle. The, the one thing that I realized about a lot of people is, you know, once they start having a little bit of success, they, they settle um, and you can never settle. Uh, you know, you make, you know, 5K a day. OK, well, how, how can I make 10 tomorrow? It's got to always be that next level, um, you know, so be really self-disciplined, never settle, um, be really consistent and ask endless questions to, to your, you know, your mentors and, and find somebody who you really trust and you can say, oh, wow, that guy's done it. What has he done? I need to copy exactly what he's done. Um, and, and, you know, it's just a game of duplication and, and just and just being a, a relentless, uh, you know, just, just working until, you, you know, you hit your goals and then some. Right on. Nice, man. Hey, so we don't want this podcast to go forever. So, but I, well, I did want to talk about, and it probably could if we kept, oh, obviously, dude. we well, could I mean, talk for another 24 hour. hours. You guys will keep watching, right? Yeah. You guys forever. Um, <laughs> so, Thanks, bro. you know, uh, Cody, you recently launched Success Society. You've talked about it a little bit. Uh, Eric's a member of that. Yeah. I'd like for you to kind of cast a little vision on that. And then Eric can kind of add, because he's a member, what he's getting the value on and all that. Yeah, it's a new... It's like a uh, it's like an exclusive network that we're building of power players that were or people that want to be power players in the insurance industry. The theme is to sprint to success together. Like Eric talked about, I love sharing everything that we know, and I was looking for an organized way for having weekly accountability calls, monthly coaching sessions with co-host, you know, annual charity golf tournaments, you know. Um, Quarterly marketing sessions where we get on and share marketing tactics every quarter together, you know, um, getting together in a, in a, in my suite, my hotel suite at 8%, having a special time where the success society can meet Michael Irvin at 8%, you know, all these things. Uh, I was really looking for a way because I loved coaching. I love coaching and training. I was looking for a way to give back, uh, in, in a monster way, 
you know, and success society is, is, is that way. There's about 30 grand a, uh, in value. Um, I pay 30 grand a year for a coaching program and it is not as good as my success society. It ain't. Uh, and you know, for success society right now, we're only, it's only, it's $199 a month. You know, yeah, it it's, won't it's be that silly. for very long, really. But, 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 but we, we, we came on that number because everyone said, dude, you should charge a thousand bucks a month for that or 2000 bucks a month. And I'm like, no, I want everyone in this. And so it's growing quick without even talking about it. Yeah. So Eric, maybe you could like provide a little bit of a, you know, feedback or value that you've seen so far from the success society. Just, you know, just uh, for that weekly accountability call, or what is it that you're finding value in that you can kind of share? Yeah, absolutely. Success Society has been incredible so far. Um, and, and, you know, when, when Cody, when you first brought that up at that conference in Tampa and you were, you know, uh, bringing the price all the way down, I was like, no matter what price he comes up with, um, I, I know for a fact that I'm going to be the first one to raise my hand <laughs> to, be, <Man. laughs> to be involved with Success Society. That's so and, good. <laughs> You know, he he says it's worth thirty thousand. It's worth way more than that, in my opinion. Um, I feel like I've already gotten that much. Uh, uh, you know, because he he gives away so much with the weekly accountability call. He brought his dad on for the first um, for the first co-host uh, session, and he he gave away a lot of nuggets as well, which was amazing. And then we get to, uh, you know, we also get to. I know we, we get to meet up with you um, a few times a year and there, there's just so much other uh, added value that goes along with that. But every single time, you know, you can get a chance to, to get in front of a guy like you and, and just pick your brain and, and, you know, add some nuggets every single time. That's worth, that's worth so much um, to me. And, and the fact that you guys offer that for as low as you do is just, um, you know, obviously you could, you could charge way more as you know, but when, you know, when you were bringing that down to like 5,000, I was like, perfect. I'm, I'm going to be the first one, 5,000. That's nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so it's been, you know, I've taken so much away from it already. If you're not in it, you need to get in it uh, ASAP. Just really, uh, you know, ever since I've, ever since I went to the retreat and I've been investing in, in stuff like this to surround myself with people um, like you, uh, Cody and Landon, uh, it's we're literally been a uh, complete 180 in, in my life and my business. So wow. it's been great. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Thank you, bro. Well, um, you know, really we feel the reason we wanted you to come on the podcast this time was one, because uh, 8% Nation conferences next week, right? So we're going to release yeah. this uh, as soon as we can, probably um, like what next Wednesday. So like, like the day be- before the success study mastermind and two days before the start of the event, you know? Yeah. And you know, Eric, we feel, you know, is a part of the 8% and he's just kind of fit the brand. He's kind of, you know, he's running with the marketing, he's doing the success society. He went to a retreat. I'm sure this is just the beginning. You know, he's already given us multiple referrals of yep. other individuals. I- I've talked about how the last 18 months I've started doing what Eric is doing now. I didn't used to do that stuff. He saw a difference since he started doing it the last few months. I saw a difference over the last 18 months when I started doing it. You know, when I started thinking bigger, putting myself out there, forcing yeah. myself to freaking grow up, yeah. you know, yeah. and actually invest my business, grow a conference for, for the insurance industry when people thought it was stupid, you know. So, dude, I, I get it. I feel it. Uh, you know what's been a big help that you really have kind of brushed over is the – evolution creation and launch of secure agent marketing in general yeah i know it's you know you're you know the the founder of it you know what i mean partners together and really rolling that out it's helping someone like eric who buys courses and doesn't know what the heck to do get leads at cost yeah yeah well there was two people at the it's 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 stupid is what it is at the retreat that had just paid like two three grand for a course and now they're still working with us yeah. And we're still doing that cuz you know it, it it it's one thing I feel like these courses are great. Uh we don't do a course because I don't feel like that's the answer because I feel like insurance yeah. producers should be producing insurance. Yeah. And then working with marketing professionals to do the marketing. That's kind of my credo. Um so we just try to set that up. Um but the main thing is 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 I you you'll hear me speak at 8% on this. It's just buyer intent. So, you know, uh whenever you uh, Eric mentioned I'm getting in front of the right people, well, that's because we're using clear and concise copy. We're shooting video that's clear and concise. We're tweaking the campaigns for budget optimization. We're building out um, multiple campaigns, A-B testing. We're not good enough with just a low lead cost. I talk to people all the time. It's like, I got my lead cost down to, you know, whatever. I'm doing it myself, and but I'm still 
I'm not able to get a hold of him. I'm like, well, that's because your buyer intent is like a one out of ten. Like, yeah. You need yeah. to come where somewhere in the middle. You well, know? We can give Eric leads for five bucks, but he, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he ain't yeah. going to close 17, 18 K in two weeks. We actually had discussion this week. Did we not Eric, where we were talking about your lead cost and we were saying, you know what? Like, you know, you're like, can we drop the lead? I'm like, yeah, we can drop the lead. If you want to drop the cost per lead, we ended up just kind of staying right where we're at, honestly. Um, so is there any other sort of, um, you know, so Eric, we feel like you're just the beginning of, of sort of our vision and mission of what we started. What the reason I partnered with Cody uh, the reason Cody partnered with me was, you know, we just want to see an army of entrepreneurs and businessmen just take control of their life and produce, you know, for their families, produce for their futures. And we just want to be a small part of that, you know, and we felt like, Eric, you're one of those guys that latched onto the brand and it's kind of consuming everything that, that we have. So I feel like you'd be a good advocate, but more so for people to be able to learn, um, you know, that you're only 27, that you are going to shoot for, you know, you're, you're going to shoot for 600 grand. I don't know if I knew that that opportunity was available when I was 22 in college. Hmm. You know what I mean? And I certainly would have went right past the recruiting booths for all the insurance companies at my job fair. You know what I mean? Yeah, you would have, along with everybody else. It ain't, it ain't sexy. You didn't grow up saying, I want to be an insurance agent. Yeah, because I feel like there's a shift where it's like, we're businessmen, us three. We just happen yeah. to sell insurance. Yeah. And I market for insurance, but we're businessmen. Yep. You know? So is, it, is there any other parting sort of thoughts, you know, Eric, that you have? That you want to kind of, you know, take some time now that you have this stage to kind of, you know, anything else you want to say to the, to the, uh, to the people? Challenge them, man. Challenge some new agents real quick, bro. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll, one thing I did leave out that I wanted to, that I meant to add in after what, what would I recommend uh, agents to do? One thing that I took away from the tree as well was you got to write down your goals every single day. That's something that I wasn't doing consistently. But then ever since I met uh, you guys and went to the retreat, I'm writing down my goals every day and I'm able to visualize it and, and see it. And I'm not, you know, it's helped me stay, stay motivated and, and it really helps you stay humble. Um, so you gotta, you gotta, you know, write down your goals every single day. I write down 12 month, five year and 10 year goals, uh, every single day, which the goals are massive. Uh, they've, I mean, not probably not compared to you guys, but you know, uh, they five X ever since I, ever since I sat down with you guys. Um, and you know, as far as the leads have gone too, you, you got me in front of somebody who has, you know, higher buyer intent, but I've, I've had nobody tell me, hey, look, I thought this was free. And that's the first, those are the first leads I've ever had, you know, where not one person told me, look, I thought this was free. They're all, you know, come over and sell me insurance kind of, kind of deal. So <laughs> I'm sure he's, know, sure he's like, it's incredible. It's, and then when you hit them with that, that unreal, unreal presentation, they're just like, okay, let's go with that one. But look, I mean, you can, if I can do it, um, anybody can do this. All, all I have uh, is I just have a tireless work ethic. I'm extremely persistent and I'm very coachable. Um, I would say, you know, you, you, that's like probably my best asset is uh, that I'm extremely coachable. You, you gotta be really coachable in this thing. Um, you know, all ego aside, focus on, you know, who, who has really done this and who's done it well, and then just copy it, just duplicate it. That's, that's all it is. So, you know, but, but the, the cool, the best part about this is anybody like you watching this, can you can do this, this exact same thing. You just got to commit and you just got to go for it. Um, stay disciplined, work really hard, but none of it requires any talent. It just requires grit and, mm, yeah. um, and a vision for, you know, being successful yeah, and then just, yeah. just putting that into action uh, every single day. All right. Thanks, bro. Dude, well, thanks hey, for being on. Yeah, man. thanks Dang. for being on the podcast. We really do appreciate you taking the time. I know you got tons of meetings to run and all that, but thanks for taking the time. And we'll see you at 8% um, here in a week, right? Yeah. So, Dude, that's insane, man. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us. We'll do a next one. We're going to try and get these every two weeks. And uh, appreciate um, you guys joining. It's been the, next, the last 40 minutes or so with us. Um, Eric, we'll see you soon. Cody, till next time, buddy. Thank you, gents. Adios. All right. See you guys. Appreciate you guys.